Hi there. Today, we will walk through the steps for installing our ACT ice lock. The current ice lock configuration at hand is a 375 series 9 wedge with an electroless nickel finish. The ice lock has a correct and incorrect orientation for installation. The correct orientation is what enables the high thermal performance of our ice lock. You can see with the correct orientation, the ice lock tabs face away from the card. The opposite is for the incorrect orientation, where the tabs will face inward towards the card. The incorrect orientation will degrade the thermal performance. The ice lock mounts to the card with two mounting screws. It is critical to only loosely tighten the screws to allow the wedge to slide during the torquing of the assembly. Also, ensure the screws are sitting sub-flush so they don't interfere with the contact interface. When both eye locks are mounted on the card, the card is ready to be inserted into the chassis. This process can require a little patience as the wedges will sometimes catch on the chassis as it is being put into place. Center the card side to side in the chassis and begin to tighten the ice locks. Tighten each ice lock until it comes into contact and engages with the chassis wall. When both ice locks are engaged, then proceed to torque the ice lock to the appropriate value, which is 20 inch pounds for our 375 series. If you are working with our 250 series, the appropriate value is 12 inch pound. Thank you for watching our video. Hope you've learned something about ice lock installations. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more thermal management resources and videos. Have a great day.